I really don't demand much from our slave. Only exclusive devoted attention to my every whim while I'm awake. That's not unreasonable. With properly fluffed pillows and relative quiet in the royal bungalow, I give Emily a very generous 15-hour break to do whatever she wants while I catch up on my beauty sleep. Of course, the boys might call on her for one thing or another, but they're hardly royalty and don't require Perrier or savory salmon pâté in a wine glass like I do. I've even been known to allow our slave to sleep on a regular basis, as long as I get to crawl under the sheet and benefit from her body heat. So why, oh why, is it that I have difficulty getting her to focus on me? Does she have ADHD? Emily likes to play Game of Sultans on her phone late at night, right during the time I require a deep scratch behind my ears. I've tried inserting my body between her and the phone and giving her tons of head nudges while assaulting her with epic levels of cuteness. If I sneeze on her, she stops momentarily and wipes my nose, then resumes the game. In desperation, I've even pulled a mango move and placed my derriere directly in her face. A bird's eye view of the regal poop shoot should get me the attention I deserve, right? No. She just pushes it out of her face and continues endlessly clicking on her stupid viziers, which never have enough power to suit her. How rude and annoying. I thought I'd hit on a solution when I sent Mango to jostle the phone out of her hand, and it plummeted to the ground. The screen shattered, and finally, she was freed from the hypnotic power of the game. In the movies, when a great liberator comes along, accolades are showered upon the hero. Real life isn't like that. The first thing she did was curse like a sailor. Then she found a phone repair organization to install a new screen that day and place a protective shield over it. So much for progress. Still, I hold out hope that I can break the spell. Perhaps for a few rubles or more kibble, my Russian wizard will be helpful.